In order to learn how to debug Cucumber test cases with IntelliJ, the first thing that we need to do is to download a sample project. I have created a simple Maven based Cucumber project and this is the location github.com j2 expert Cucumber basics. Just go there and download this particular project. Click on download zip, extract the project. I'm putting this into a particular directory. Just renaming it, removing this main part. Now, let me go back to IntelliJ. Open, go to the project location, select the project, click OK. Maximize this. Let's wait for a few seconds for IntelliJ to initialize this project. Close all this. If I have a look at the directory structure over here under SRC, I have the test folder. As it is mainly with unit testing, I have not kept the main. And inside test, I have the necessary files for Cucumber testing. I have the runner over here and then under steps, I have the step definition. These are all standard stuff. Let me first go to the pom.xml. Under pom.xml, we have the standard definition for all the dependencies which are related to Cucumber. So you have the repository and the project and you can see whatever dependencies we are using. Along with Cucumber, I am using JUnit 5. And if I go to the runner over here, I have the suite. These are all JUnit dependencies. If I open, these are all from JUnit. And if I go to the step definition over here, I have created a sample test case where I would be adding two numbers and the feature file I have kept here under resources. First, I want to clean this project and perform an install and then I'm going to run and debug this. Let me click on Maven. Expand this, expand lifecycle, select clean, install and run this. Run Maven build. So for running and debugging purpose, there are two ways we can run test runner as this is from JUnit, like normal JUnit class and we can do it from the feature file also. That is the second option. I'll come to that later on. First, let me do it from here. So right click, run Cucumber test runner. Now the tests are running. Here, as I told you, one would be successful, another would be failing. If I go to this feature. I have intentionally kept one particular test case as wrong. I have given two numbers 3 and 5 and result I am expecting 9 just to show one failure scenario. Now how to debug this in case there is a failure. So here I can see this is the error message where it is showing we have some problem in line number 27. If I click over here this is the line. So same way we debug standard classes or JUnit test cases, what we can do, we can place a breakpoint here just for the sake of showing it to you. So this is a step definitions file. I have to run the test runner. What I can do from here, I can do a right click, click on debug or from here also, if I click, these options are available. I can click over this debug one also. Let me click here. Now, like standard scenarios, typical debugging cases, the breakpoint would be hit and here if needed, we can inspect the results. I have the results over here. Expected result is 8. This result is also 8. So this is the correct scenario. The correct test case is running. Let me just bypass this. Click step over or rather let me click resume. Now this is the scenario where the expected result is 9 which was actually wrong and the correct result or the returned result was 8. So we know that expected result is wrong. We need to correct. So this is the way to debug the test cases in Cucumber. It is same as JUnit. Now, one thing what we can do apart from testing this Cucumber or running this Cucumber test cases like standard JUnits, another option is provided from IntelliJ IDEA is to use certain plugins. In those cases, we can utilize these feature files to run the typical Cucumber test cases. How to do that? Go to File, Settings, Type Plugin. I have plugin selected over here. So here, what we can do, we can type Cucumber. In my case, installed is selected. Let me click on Marketplace. So this is the one Cucumber for Java, not this Cucumber. If you see, it is from JetBrains. This one we need to install. You can click over here or here. Make sure you select this one. Click on Install. Click on this button again. Click OK. It is going to restart IntelliJ IDEA. That is fine. Click on Restart. IntelliJ is restarting now. Let's wait for a while for the project to initialize. Still the scanning and all is going on. 
you can notice over here the icon of this particular file has changed to this green icon the intellij id has identified this file as a feature file so another plugin we should be ideally installing let me go to file settings here type ghakin this one is also from JetBrains. What I see, it is already installed, it seems. In your case, if it is not installed and the install button appears, please click on it. That should be fine. Let me click OK. Now here, if I close all this and only open this feature file. So what I can do, rather than running this test runner, I can run it from here also if I have the plugin installed. And here, if you see, it also provides additional options, meaning you can run this test cases or scenarios individually or you can run them as a whole. From here also, if you just do a right click, you can run or debug this. This is the one which has issues. Let me try to run it or debug it. If I want to debug, if I just click over here, I can debug it. So I have clicked on debug. Ideally, the breakpoint which I placed earlier, that should be triggered and the control should be paused over there. So as expected, you can see the breakpoint is hit and if needed, we can proceed with the debugging. So what we have done so far, we have learned two ways to debug Cuckoo Bird test cases. One is directly running the test runner, the typical way we debug JUnit test cases and also debugging it from the feature files using the plugins.